Welcome to the Grilleration on location. Today we're making what else? Sturdy J burgers. Here's how we do this. You need meat. I got meat. This is all the meat, so might be a little horsey. We'll have to see. Old joke. Over here is the burglar press that I brought from home. Maybe this is where the magic happens, not really sure. We have the appropriate tools, a knife to open up the meat, my hands, and of course a beer. That's to help squish down the meat, obviously. Open the meat. Now, this is 2.53 lugs. 2.53 lugs is going to make, we're shooting for about six. Shooting for about six. So I just go in here and just grab some meat. Just a, just a shade more. About that. And now, we take the burglar press. I like to press them nice and hard and spin the meat. That gives it the Charlie Sheen finish. Take that out. Unscrew that. One dirty J burglar. Oh, you mean I didn't season the meat? Well, I'm certainly not going to do like a certain 15-year-old fan twerp. Can't mention any names, but he hangs out with those Abraham and Jacob guys in the, in the Bible. Yeah, for some reason he feels that if you season one side of the meat, it just permeates right through to the other. Because, of course, this is a solid and not a liquid. But that's what happens when you fail algebra. So, take some more meat, stick that in. Take meat scraps from the previous, and we're going to make another Dirty J Burglar. This one is a little fatter, but that's okay, because then when you cook it, what's going to happen is you'll have ones that are a little bit more done, a little bit less done. About four RCHs taller, not too bad. Well, maybe just that. A little bit more. Try that. The meat scraps from the previous. Let's see how the third one comes out, and then I will continue to make burgers. So let's see. going to need just a, that much more. Couple little meat crumbs. That should do. For the video. Meat burglar. I'm going to make the rest. There is the furnished product right there. Like I said, you get, you know, just that one's about six RCHs higher than that, but like I said, you get some more done, some less done. And as far as seasoning, like I was saying before, Dirty J Burgers are so good, they don't need seasoning, nor would you possibly want to poison them with seasoning. Absolutely not. They are au natural and other French things, and they're just absolutely delicious in and of their own right. The accoutrement, as Sharky has just shown before, of course, we have the American Chin to go with that. And um, we also have another little surprise. We got like a little container of like a cheese whiz kind of type deal. I did that once. Uh, had a video on that. Don't remember what it was called about six years, eight years ago. Don't remember. And found that that was really good. If you like spread it on the bun, kind of like a mayo type thing, added a nice dimension of flavor to it. So I think we're all set here, and um, we have some uh, strange hot dogs we're going to grill up also. Also from Aldi, the Park View, Buffalo Stye, and Monterey Jack Chin 
smoked sausage. They're not hot dogs, but they look like them. Yes, the package is open. Um, it's delicious. I actually had these. I said, this is right up the shark's alley. So, um, you know, because Buffalo and Cheen, I mean, that's like two of the major food groups right there. And uh, I brought that up in my Aldi cooler. I go there all the time. I get all the deals. They don't have beer there. I mean, they do, but unfortunately not in New York. Anyway, on to the grilleration. Okay, big metal thing. Fire plus meat equals good. Here we are. We're going to go ahead and light this off. So, the way this works, push in, turn, and let go as soon as that goes. Now we'll turn on this one, push in, turn, and one more to go. Push in, turn, Oh, good, China let us eat. Exactly. I'll let the grill heat up and we'll get going. We are ready. We're at about 475, 500, you know, 85, 95, 100%. One of those. We're about ready. Good 500 degrees is where it should be. Fire these bastards on here. That's a fat bastard right there, that one. Big jiggly mat burglars. And the last burglar, and then the dogs of hot. They're actually cold dogs right now, but they're they're gonna be hot. <laughs> I'm actually gonna wait to throw these on because they really don't take long and I don't want to burn them, so I think we're just gonna let the burglars do their thing. When you're a chef like me, you're not used to these high quality cooking apparatuses. Apparatus, I mean, they got like a thick spatula tour of things. But, you know, I mean, dirty J burglars, so we're gonna go ahead and just flip these over. That is looking absolutely fabulous. See, when you do this the right way, Now we have some flame boiled nids. That's not a good thing. This is bound to happen with dirty day burgers. So what you do is you just kind of, this is why you need a big grill. Just burnt off my finger, but I don't need it anymore. I'm gonna just shove that maybe over here. I think that'll do. Put that back down. Let those smoke rake for a little bit. And uh, look at the chooch, ladies and gentlemen. The chooch. Awesome. Wait a minute. Isn't this what New Jersey always looks like? So the burglars are looking good. I'm actually going to do the low and slow method today. So we're going to turn both these burners down to low and slow. It says that on the knob. And there. Low and slow. And we're going to just shove them back. This They're not done yet. Obviously, I'm still red if the camera can make it out through the smoke it. I'll just shove that one over. And we're going to let these just sit here and denubinate for a little while. Let everything flow in there on a low. And that'll do. Oh, we are looking rather delicious over here. We're just going to do a flipperoni over here. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely fusion. What? Real nice. Oh, we got that flame boiled goodness over there. I think it needs to be flipped once more, doesn't it? The one in the back because they got stuck on the other patty. No, it's okay. All right. That's okay. We're still not done. We got a little too much red yet, but we're getting ever closer. Now we're going to just fire these bastards on here. Somewhere over here is good. Just like that. We're going to flip our burglars one last time. And I think by the time the hot dogs are done, the burglars 
There you go. Oh, perfect. Yeah, definitely. Definitely the right thing. We might actually just let these guys just rest here on some indirect heat for a little bit. They're they're done, but they're not. They're, they're like. 75, 85, you know, about 100% almost. Exactly. Almost 100%. Leave these guys here to chooch, and we'll be back shortly. Let's try rolling these bastards a little bit. Aren't going to take too long. We're real close now. All right, we're all done. Got some nice char marks on the little dogs here. We'll just take those off over here. Oh, run away. That's no good. Push those aside. Spatulatory. Absolutely perfect. What else would you expect? I wouldn't expect anything less, of course. Got that nice crust on the outside. It's going to sweet in the middle. Absolutely perfect. Dirty J Burglars and Fancy Hot Dogs. The grill -ration on location. Now we have to see if it sucks. We have the shark in his natural aqua tat. Aqua tat, somewhere. Like aqua that. tat, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Perfect 1980s barbecue in 2021. Oh, yeah. With the tab, mm -hmm. Sharkly Burgers. It consists of meat and cheese. <laughs> and. The Cheen Whiz yeah, as see, well. See how that is. So let's see what happens. Let's see if the Dirty J Burglars, the grilleration on location, sucks. Let's see how it is. It sucks even more in Connecticut, hon. Damn it. Do do do. I'll never win, ever. I try so hard every time, yet I still fail. <laughs> it's like Chad with the Power Hour. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll get to the uh, hot to dogs later. But, uh, yeah, we're actually all set. That's for the J Burger Deluxe. And uh, I'm going to put some of the Cheen Whiz on there and that. Got the chili sauce there, grown-up ketchup, and all that. So that is going to wrap up the grilleration on location. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.